this is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Uh, if you don't have this stuff, you need to go back to the other parts of the lesson. Touching the cake. Second ladybug. Your first enemy sprite should now be resetting. Yep, right? When it gets the cake. Now you'll want the other ladybug to reset as well. Do this. Inside the enemy touch cake function, you should have written the code that resets enemy one. That is correct. Copy the entire if statement you wrote in the last level. Control C or Command C if you're on a Mac, just to let you know. Let me scroll down here. And so keep in mind, enemy touch cake, here's where we call it. Here's where we ask the computer to run that function in the draw loop. The draw loop runs 30 times a second. So we're running these functions 30 times a second. When we hit enemy touch cake, the computer says, what the heck is that? And starts looking and smack. It finds this, runs the code inside. When it's done, it goes back up here and runs the code beneath. All right. So they're saying we can copy and paste. So I'm going to click here and drag a little boxy thing, also known as a box. And then I'm going to hit control C to copy. Okay. I'm going to click and you can kind of use your arrow key. I'm going to put it right here. You see the black line. And then I'm going to use control V to paste again on a Mac. That would be command. And now it's asking me to set this to be enemy two. enemy two. And you'll notice that this code's very similar to the other. Usually in computing, you wouldn't want this. It's a redundancy. Uh, and we would use a function parameter. We're not there yet, but yes. Cool. We have this. All right. Change the name of the sprite from any one to enemy two. Test your code. Both bugs should reset when touching the cake. Boom, boom. <gasps> Minus four. Perfect. Well, that one was easy because we could rely on what we already have done. And then once it finishes running these, keep in mind, like I said, it just goes back and keeps going. And that's why it also responds to player movement because it runs all of these functions 30 times a second. Awesome. Let's keep going. Onward.